four-month delay. The Emmys finally arrived with the silver carpet rolled out in Hollywood for the 75th award show, honouring television's stand-up performances. But before the big winners were announced, it was all, of course, about the fashion, glittering greens, white tuxedos and fiery reds dominated the night. There was one small screen star whose bold look has divided the internet. For more, we're joined by celebrity stylist Fleur Egan. Good morning to you, Fleur. So, uh, Aubrey Plaza, Suki Waterhouse and Barbie's Issa Rae wore some of the boldest looks of the night. Which one got the fashion critics and the fans in a bit of a fluster? Oh, there was so much fun on the carpet. I loved watching it. Let's talk about Aubrey. She's wearing this buttermilk yellow Loewe gown with a giant pin at the front. And this has become the meme all over the internet. People are saying it looked like a post-it note, but I love Aubrey, so I still think she looked rather fabulous. We've got gorgeous Suki Waterhouse who's wearing a beautiful red Valentino dress showing off her gorgeous pregnancy bump. I, I love watching pregnancy fashion on the red carpet. I think she looks absolutely stunning. That's daring, isn't it? It is daring, absolutely. And beautiful. And then you've got gorgeous Isa Rae who's wearing this beautiful feathered moment. I think it's absolutely fabulous. And it was it was the most textured outfit that we saw on the carpet. So I think it's I think it's fabulous. I told you it was a buttermilk. <laughs> you, you did. We've been arguing whether it was buttermilk okay. or sort or of cream. or cream. Yeah. yeah. So we, we got up. there in the end. Thanks yeah. for clearing that up. <laughs> so Emmy winner Sarah Snook, uh, Jessica Chastain, also Claire Danes um, arrived on the silver carpet. They stunned. Oh, I thought they looked absolutely beautiful. Let's talk about Sarah wearing this fabulous red Vivian Westwood gown. The corset tree, the jewellery, just absolutely stunning. And then I've got to talk about Jessica Chastain wearing Gucci. She makes really bold fashion choices. I'm just always super excited to see what she's wearing. Oh, what an shimmery. amazing colour. Yeah. Shimmery, you've got the feathered details at the bottom, the trims. It's stunning. Always beautiful on the red carpet. A real favourite for me. And yeah, who else have we got it. in that threesome there that you had up? Oh, we've got Claire Danes. Oh, Claire so Danes. that's nice. Claire Danes, amazing. She's wearing vintage Balmain. And I love seeing the stars wearing a sort of throwback piece from a while ago. I really love vintage fashion on the red carpet. I think it's beautiful, very regal. And it's really good that you're here because I always thought it was Balmain. Uh, you know, when I've seen that, but she pronounced it publicly. <laughs> so that is very I'm glad, I'm glad it was you, exactly. not me. Uh, yeah. So let's talk about the mixed reviews, Fleur. Mm -hmm. So Selena Gomez, Calista Flockhart, Jennifer Coolidge. Mm -hmm. Would we say that there was some mixed reviews for yeah. these outfits? Look, there was mixed reviews. And I think it's difficult because they're on the red carpet all the time. So there's going to be some hits and some misses. Let's start with Selena Gomez. Let's start with a positive. She's wearing a beautiful Oscar de la Renta gown. It's got over 450,000 sequins on it and a 35 carat Tiffany diamond. They're oh. the pluses. The only thing I would say, I don't love the lining of this dress. I don't think it's... The lining's let her down, has A little bit. It doesn't match mm. her skin tone. Matt. I don't think it's perfect. I but have no idea what that's my only it. <laughs> That's my only criticism. Right. Let's talk about Glister. I just don't particularly love the shape of this Armani dress. I think the top of it's absolutely beautiful. Cute, yes. I think the bottom's maybe a little bit stiff. It might just be a case of the wrong dress on, oh, on the person. Oh, there it is. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. not my favourite, but again, love her. A bit Little House on the Prairie, maybe. Isn't mm. it? <laughs> I mean, in a plain black. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> OK. And then, of course, we've got Jennifer, who I just, I mean, I just, I love Jennifer I always. Just... Love Jennifer. She can do, no do, can do no wrong. <laughs> I know. True. Okay, let's go. The TikTok star Emma Brooks, McAllister. Mm -hmm. A new spin on the naked dress. What is the naked dress? Uh, I mean, the naked dress is sort of, it, it can be, be a few different things. It can either be something that's very sheer or something that kind of shows the silhouette of a, a, of a lady over the top with either sequin embellishment. So basically, I think this dress is probably a little bit too Ooh. modern on this particular carpet. It was actually based on a famous statue, Venus de Milo. It's just not my favourite. I don't think it reads as well as maybe it did at her fitting. I think if she wore it somewhere else, <laughs> it would have looked great, but I don't think it works particularly well. So it's definitely dividing the internet. It's, it's something we haven't really seen before on the That's red carpet. It's stressful for the stars. The internet That's loves it. being divided, doesn't it? it? <laughs> what true. about Fleur? Very true. For the blokes, mm -hmm. it was a whiteout, it, it seemed. It was. I love to see a different take on black tie on the guys. And we just saw a lot of them wearing really great white outfits, whether it was a full white suit, whether a great white blazer. I think it's like a real nice twist on just wearing the traditional black and I, I think they look fabulous. I love go. to see this trend. There you go. There's a trend for you, for the Logies. <laughs> there Matt you go. Doran. Thank you very much, Fleur. Thank you.